morning. I woke up at 6 a.m. today and it's about half six. Uh, it took me a while to get the motivation to get out of bed, but I'm ready uh, to go to the gym. I'm gonna show you my outfit quickly. So, this is what I'm wearing to the gym today. It's a push day. Okay, so I ran home from the gym and did my makeup as you probably saw. I finished that real quick. My hair's still like a mess because I washed it last night but haven't had a chance to um, style it, which, which I can do later. I just wanted to show the fit today. Um, I'm gonna wear my Air Forces with this and yeah, that's me. I gotta go to work now and that is my little like reminder sticky you note know, for before we leave. work and it was a really busy morning but we're on our way down to Eastbourne now um, and as you probably saw it is raining really hard I'm hoping it lightens up um, by the time we go for dinner so that we don't have to be walking in torrential rain fingers crossed just got here the weather's not the greatest but I'm really happy with the hotel I'm gonna do a quick tour so to the right is a safe and a closet which provides great storage for coats they even have um, an ironing board an iron here I assume this is like a space for shoes or, or something and then to the left is the bathroom and there's a really nice big mirror with uh, like some cool tile backing. This is the bath and shower area. I like the bathroom, it's like quite spacious. And then here is the big mirror, um, kind of attached to like the TV and desk unit. And what's really cool is that there's this like little see-through part of the desk. Um, which pulls out kind of your coffee and tea amenities and plenty of storage um, with the desk drawers. There's um, a little armchair. There's my husband, I think he's on a game right now. Um, and then a really large bed, which looks super comfy. Overall, um, I think the hotel is like really, really nice. So um, we got changed and kind of like refreshed ourselves uh, ready for dinner. I had to redo my makeup. You're probably like, this, you look exactly the same, but I did change. And I'm wearing a cardigan as like my top, a um, animal print, which you probably can't see, satin skirt, and some really tall boots. That's the fit, and we're ready to go to dinner. We're going under, and there's nothing we can do The final hour before we let it go to rest It's such a heartbeat pounding in your chest In this story Backlash written on me, car bumping on the back
fast forward, I'll be ballin' Bring my lady to me, countin' down I'm already out, already on the countdown I'ma set it right Got the backpacks written on me Go running from the pole, go running saw me Don't know which way we goin' now I don't wanna know it Might as well be goin' down I don't wanna know it What do you think, babe? <laughs> <laughs> so we just tried the oysters and they're not our favorite. Um, for my second one, I put a lot of vinegar and Tabasco and that was rough. Like I put way too much. But while I was taking down the second one, Chris had moved my shell to his side of the plate so it looked like he ate more, which is not fair. And then I went, hey, I bet if someone offered me 10 pounds, I could finish the last three. And guess what? What have you got there, babe? 10 pounds to finish the three oysters. Ah, here we go. I, sh I should be careful what I wish for. That's one down. Good morning, today is the day of um, our wedding anniversary, two years, let's get it. Um, I woke up pretty early this morning at about like seven. I'm unable to sleep in these days because um, of my gym early morning wake ups, uh, which my body obviously doesn't know how to distinguish between a weekday and a weekend where I don't I don't go to the gym on the weekends, which is fine. It means I can get a head start so I can um, get ready and do my makeup. I'm just gonna go downstairs in like my band tee and my jeans, which I guess I can show you. Just my Jimi Hendrix t-shirt and my like my jeans, and then I'll I think we'll eat and then we'll head upstairs and then get changed um, to go out. Uh, for the rest of the day. Uh, our biggest plan today is the afternoon tea at the Grand Hotel, um, which should be fun because I've never done it before. Uh, other than that, we're just gonna like explore and take you along with, and we also have to hit the drugstore because I forgot some things and like we ran out of toothpaste.
because I only bought this like tiny little tube which was already pretty much empty so just a few bits like that. Six one five. Six one five. You have breakfast with us before. No. So the breakfast itself serves. You have yourself with the continental breakfast, okay. and afterwards, when you are ready for uh, for the hot food, you go up to the buffet, and the chef is gonna plate it for you. Okay. Perfect. Would you like to follow me? I will show you where is the juice. What are the juices? Where is the coffee? So you can have the cereal and the yogurt to help yourself. Okay. And then the coffee machine is just in the other end, also you help yourself. And then you will present the contents for the coffee. Thank you, salad, cheese, I made myself um, what I always make when I go to hotels, which is a croissant sandwich. Sorry, croissant sandwich with Emmental cheese, and I think it's just like luncheon meat or something. I probably should have chosen ham, but whatever. We just had breakfast, and I'm super happy that it's sunny, so we're gonna take a walk and hopefully find the town center. Oh, it's opening without me even pushing it. Why why would you have a button like that? Ooh, it's sunny. It's nice. It's not that cold at all. Oh yeah, we have to go to the car. I think I left my tripod in the car. I really hope I haven't lost my tripod. I don't see it back here. Oh yeah, I left it. Where was it? Oh, oh yeah, it was in the foot wall. Thank you. So at this, um, so this is the hotel we're staying at. I don't know if I ever got a view of the building. But um, they provide you with parking. You just have to like switch out the parking permit um, like at a certain time each day right by the sea and it's super pretty and I don't know if you can see but I'm gonna zoom in but the pier is like right there and I think that's where we're gonna explore today in this story Babe, one piece. That was part of one of the big three, like Naruto Bleach, one piece. Oh, Moff Gideon from um, The Mandalorian. They got some Dragon Ball Z stuff. And they've got like the cutest Baby Yoda plushies. <gasps> Totoro! Oh my gosh! This must be like a Totoro she card from, game. Um, that one. Oh yeah, yeah, Fate Zero. Yeah. Good, good catch. What's her name? What's, uh, she's um yeah. Arthur. Yeah. Arthur. Yeah, she, yeah, she so pulls the sword from the stone. Yeah. Oh my gosh, babe! Tell me you know this one. Yeah, that's what you dressed up for that's Halloween. Um, Come on, babe. Yes, yes. Oh. 
Yeah, it's so expensive though. That's cool. I know, he's so cool. No face. Oh my gosh, if they had a plushie of no face. Oh my gosh, it's the bus! It's the bus from Totoro! It's the bus cat! <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh wow, they even have Kiki's delivery service. And, and they have... I'm assuming this is like a Totoro mug or something. Oh, this is so cool. I'm after first one. This is the one. Angels on bare skin. So we walked around town and then we got some drinks. Baba chose some beer tasters. And I have a tequila sunrise, which I've never had before. I don't think I've ever had a tequila pure. It has um, grenadine, which I'm not sure what that means. And I'm assuming that's what's at the bottom. I don't know if I have to mix it. Do I have to mix this? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. I I'm gonna mix it for good measure. Yeah, it's stirring. All right, it's turned like a peachy color now that I've mixed the bottom stuff. Let me give it, give it a try. This is tequila, orange juice, and grenadine. I don't know if that's a tequila or grenadine, but I can, I can definitely taste like a like a spirit in there. You know what I mean? It's quite nice, but it's just like it's a flavor that I'm not used to. Like I know what to expect when I drink vodka or I drink like rum and coke. Like I know the taste of those spirits. It's tequila. It's the taste of tequila. Yeah, I've never tried tequila before. I'm not a big fan of tequila. You said I would like it. Yeah, it looks like a fruity. Mm, I do like the fruity. Whoa, 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 what, which one are you trying right now? The blonde. Oh, you had that yesterday. Yeah, I'm doing it in order. I'm gonna grab this piece of paper. <clears throat> and so on this list, it's probably like mirrored backwards, but is when you get the beer taster set, there's the blonde, the IPA, the oyster one, and then like a triple Belgian, is it called? Yeah, they just it's it can be any ones. Yeah, it can be any ones. I'm saying, but like um, Chris had her choose it, and she ended up choosing an oyster one. So that's what we're most excited for him to try. I'm just gonna try the oyster one now. Yesterday, the uh, oysters not quite to my liking. <laughs> so interested to see about the drink. All right. Okay. How is it? The drink's actually nice. Is it? I think it's the texture of the oysters that I don't like. Okay, wait. Let me try the drink. It's actually quite a nice drink. Whoa. It's very strong. <laughs> like, ooh, it tastes like something old men drink. Like hardcore old men who drink at the pub every day. Mm. Not for me. All right, let me get this camera turned around. Hopefully you can see our game of four in a row. Ugh. Okay, ready? Yeah. I don't think I don't think I can really see because the table's quite low, but okay, here we go. We have to rock paper scissors for who's not ready. Oh yeah, true. Duh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I won! One for one! I couldn't go there. Yeah, because it was, it was, <laughs> no, yeah. I would um, win anyway. Yes! So far, the person who starts second wins. Yes! Oh no! I didn't see it! <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Replay, rematch! Oh, <laughs> rematch! <Yeah. laughs> Oh, ah. Played you <laughs> like a fiddle. Oh. You're the real winner, baby. It was great to me. So we met a 
really nice old man at the Belgian pub, the Belgian cafe. Um, we didn't mean to spend as much time there, so we had to um, rush to the hotel at about like a little bit past three um, and get changed. And now we are walking towards the Grand Hotel to have our afternoon tea. We have to make it there on time because if you're not there on time, you still have to pay for your tea, your tea slot, but you, they don't have to seat you. So we're definitely- If they're busy. If, if they're, they're busy. busy. Okay. Not, it's not like a guarantee, but if they are busy and you turn up 10 minutes late, they don't have to see you. There you go. ago it's about 9 p.m. right now we took a nap afterwards because it made us super full reason being is we had a really good breakfast um, and then we had drinks at the Belgian cafe and then we weren't really hungry because the, the breakfast was really substantial um, but since we had booked it we had to like take the opportunity and go anyway and it was like a truly interesting experience I mean as soon as I walked in I got like some some like glares, I don't, I don't, it's probably like, I don't know if it's me or, or the way I, dra I was dressed or anything, but there's definitely like an air of snobbery. <laughs> like when people say hi to you, it's like very posh and very upper class. I can see why, because everyone there was kind of like pretentious vibes. And so it wasn't, it wasn't like really my scene to be honest, but I'm glad I tried it. I always have a, have a philosophy where I want to try something once and like don't knock it before you try it. Kind of thing so I'm glad I tried it five years of living in England I felt like it was it was time um, I, I can't say that I'd do it again I'm much more of a, a chill vibe kind of person like just just being at a pub and meeting people and talking to them and, and stuff like that so yeah definitely an experience afternoon tea some people might really enjoy it um, and I think it also depends where you have it and where you do it I think we had it in a very traditional traditional way as opposed to maybe a more modern uh, way like having it at restaurant tables because we were sat in this like lobby space and it wasn't very like private. I didn't feel like me and my husband had like a private space. It was kind of like the, the armchairs were faced open. It, it was a, it was a whole thing. I'm sure you'll see it. Uh, you've seen it in the videos. So uh, anyway, we woke up from our nap uh, and I'm feeling kind of peckish. So we're going to head down to the bar and hopefully get like a bite to eat. So Bubba's not hungry, so he didn't get a, a meal, but I've got a, a panini and it has pesto in it. It's a vegan one, a vegan tomato, pesto, and something else, what's in this? Cheese, yep. And then there's like, they call it crisps, but I call it chips, salted chips, and then like a side of like salad. Most of the time when I have this camera on, I'm just eating, eating food. Whoa, oh, it's hot. It is hot. Wow, I can barely hold it. Mmm. Mm. Hot. Good. I wonder what kind of cheese 
that is. Cause it's like vegan. I'm like, it's like nondescript cheese. <laughs> I could not tell you what that that cheese tastes like. Cheese, or it does taste like cheese. Oh, but that's not cheese. I wonder if it's the one that we got on the supermarket that one time. Oh, it's not that bad. That one was bad. Open up cheese. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Seems like I love giving myself scares. Yesterday, um, this is not a great excuse, but I didn't have any pockets, so I was holding onto my phone and I went to the bathroom and I just put it down to wash my hands. And then I forgot it as I went back to the tea room. And then this morning, as we were checking out of reception, I obviously had my suitcase and like bags and different things. And I had put my camera down just so that, um, I could hand him the letter that was in my bag for Tito Rani. And uh, I left my camera as we went to the car. I was like, we went to the car, I was like, I'm missing something, where's my camera? And we freaking, I freaking sprinted back into the hotel. I was like, where's my camera? The poor, the poor receptionist had it in his hands looking for me, thinking we had maybe left already. And he was like panicking for me. So his name's Jamie, he's super sweet. So thank you to the View, View Hotel, we really enjoyed our stay. Uh, right now, we're walking towards the pier because we didn't get a chance to um, like have a look at it yesterday. The weather is not even, not even a quarter as nice as it was. Like there's no sun. It looks like it's probably gonna rain today, but it's not raining, so we're making the most of it. stuff is closed I just got like a chocolate muffin because I was feeling like a snack and it's about uh, quarter to 11 so we've done um, everything in a good amount of time considering I mean it was a good thing we woke up early I think and got everything out the way I'm actually kind of looking forward to sleeping on my own bed that's the one thing I really do miss because the bed at the hotel felt a lot different it was like a lot harder than my own bed, so I did struggle to sleep a bit, but we had a good time, didn't we, Bubby? Yeah, it was very enjoyable. Had a good anniversary weekend, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh -huh.